about irregular stitches while doing quilting on your sewing machine. Hi there! Welcome to a new Q&A Tuesday video. My name is Irene and today we're going to be talking about quilting on a domestic sewing machine. And a question was asked by uh, Iris and she left a comment on one of my videos and I'll just read it to you. She says, I have a free motion foot, uh, but for me, I find it difficult to keep at the right speed when I'm moving the fabric. I have small and large stitches, so definitely need to work on that. Any tips there? Well, that is a fun question. The biggest tip, and maybe not the most popular, but the biggest tip that I can give is to practice. Because it is a kind of combination that you need to make between moving your fabric in a specific speed and having your foot down on a specific level because then your needle is going to move in a specific speed. So you need to find a combination for that. So when you're going around the corner, then you need to speed up a little bit with your foot if your hands are moving faster. So you need to find um, a bal balance in that. And that just takes practice, I guess. But there are some tips that you can uh, that I can give you, I think. So one of the things is to make sure that your foot is kind of stable. So maybe that you have your leg in a comfortable angle. Um, so then when you're quilting, your foot is not very far away or very close to you, but that it's really easy to um, yeah, to put your foot down the, the way you want it to. Just like in a car, when you're going to drive, you want to adjust your seat so your foot is not awkwardly far away, um, but just in a, a good position. So also take some time to place your pedal on a correct spot, uh, well, on a comfortable spot uh, beneath your table. And then um, your hands you have more control over your fabric when your hands are closer to um, your foot. You would often see me have my hands quite far away and that is just because I'm also still practicing and not always paying attention. But when you have your hands pretty close to your machine, you will have more um, control over the movement. And especially when you're also wearing quilting gloves with those little uh, friction points on the on the surface of the gloves then you will have more control and more control will make it easier to practice so those are two things that you can pay attention to so your foot and having control over uh, the movement and with control over the movement also means uh, managing your quilt so when you're working on a big project make sure that it's a uh, full lit up kind of crumpled up nicely all around you so that it's easy to maneuver it and that it's not um, hanging off the table too much or uh, well like I talked in a previous video that you might have a pillow um, so that it's not hanging off the table towards you and then when your setup is good so your foot is in a good position you have a lot of control and grip on your quilt then it's practicing so maybe you can take a practice quilt, um, just two fat quarters with some scrap batting between it and make some stitches. Just fill that whole fat quarter with stitches. Just make lines and lines and lines to really get the hang of it, to get that muscle memory. And you can start with making straight lines, even though you've probably done more uh, complicated designs already. but start making straight lines and practicing if you can keep your stitches at the same um, um, size so <laughs> that all the stitches have the same length and when you manage that by going straight lines then you might go wavy lines and see if you then can keep your stitches consistent and when that works out try a more um, complicated design so just go a few steps back and uh, go over the basics again and see if you can improve that way. So I really hope these tips will help you improve your stitches uh, and I hope that you will have fun with quilting even before your stitches are perfectly consistent. 
because practicing and getting better uh, and getting better at it is um, a big part of the fun i think thank you so much for watching this video and uh, if you have a question please leave it down in the comments below if you want tips on anything quilting related or have a question about should we do or well anything just leave your question in the comments down below and maybe i'll answer your question in the next q a tuesday video thanks so much see you next week bye